Did you know that a good and clever design in a small space can trick your mind into thinking that the space is bigger than what it really is? Design can absolutely transform any space. In this video, I will share with you 10 ideas, tips and tricks to design a small bedroom. So if you have a small bedroom or you are designing one right now, this video is perfect for you. Hi guys, welcome back to Designer Samsaira Kuri, architect and interior designer, founder of Designers. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to join our design community and to turn on the notifications bell to enjoy the latest in interior design, tips, and home ideas. Also, if you need daily inspiration, follow me on Instagram to get inspired and to get in touch. I really appreciate your comments because they let me know that you are interested and lets me know how I can help you when it comes to design. I actually prepared this content especially through many suggestions and comments from you. Remember, be free to ask and So if you have any question after watching this video, please let me know in a comment below. I will respond to as many comments as I can. So let's get started with the recommendation and ideas for a small bedroom's design. Color is one of the most important elements in any room. For a small bedroom, use light colors on the walls, floor, and on your furniture. It's a generally known fact that light colors make a room look bigger and brighter. A room with light colors feel bigger and brighter because the walls are more reflective, making a space feel open and airy, which helps maximize the effect created by natural light. Dark colors, on the other hand, tend to absorb light, making a room look smaller. Using light colors will make your walls appear to recede, creating a bright feel. The favorite colors for a small bedroom are white, light gray, neutrals, and cool colors like blue or green, but in a very light tone to make your bedroom fresh, brighter, and calming. If you have any doubts on how to select the paint color for your space, click the card here to know more about the color theory and how to combine colors depending on your space and needs. Magnify your space with mirrors. Mirrors expand a small bedroom by creating the illusion of a bigger room. Positioning a mirror to reflect the light of a window is also the only way to up the natural light in your space. There are different ways to place a mirror in your bedroom. For example, find a body length mirror and lean it up against the wall. You can cover an entire wall with modular mirrors or cover the sliding door of your closet or use a big one as a focal point above your bed head. Also, incorporating some mirrored furniture is a clever way to reflect light. Don't be afraid to play around with more than one mirror, but be sure that they don't have overloaded or detailed frames. Remember that in small spaces, clean lines are the best choice. Push your bed up against a corner. Most bedroom styles feature the bed placed on the center of the wall with a nice stand on each side. Narrow floor plans and limited space often call for a deviation of this. To maximize the floor space and to have a Comfortable way to circulate or use to place other furniture into your bedroom, like a desk, dresser, or a vanity table, tuck your bed up against a corner. In order to have only one circulation area instead of two to arrive to your bed, and to save the most space possible to be used to other furniture and activities. Be creative with your nice things. If you want to maximize every inch and be very stylish, a well-mounted solution is the best way to store your nighttime essentials without using any floor space. It's clean, contemporary, inexpensive, and very, very easy to install. 
This levitation acts as a trick to the eye by freeing up visual space and making the room feel larger. And it also leaves floor space open for even more storage. Also, if you have a nice stand for both sides, you can break the symmetry with two different styles, shapes, and to have night tables with a different kind of storage or use. Because you're always asking for it, remember that I always leave a link below in the description box with the furniture that I mentioned in this video. This way you can get inspired to incorporate something similar into your space. Use your walls. Use the vertical space. The space is three-dimensional. We have more than the floor, so don't forget that you have vertical space at your disposal to incorporate some pieces like bookshelves, wall-mounted desk, or storage. Take advantage of your wall space. Liven up vacant walls and give purpose to underutilized areas. Remember that vertical storage gives the illusion of a more spacious room. In a small bedroom, make your walls work every time. Hidden storage. In order to organize a small bedroom setup, storage is key. Be creative. Use under bed storage to stash out of season clothing. Custom shelving hidden in your walls to store things like shoes and books or a mirror with a hidden storage for your yearbook. Also, use an ottoman with hidden storage at the foot of the bed and get extra seating. Multifunctional and light furniture. In a small bedroom, multifunctional and smart pieces are essentials to maximize every inch. Look for multiple uses in your furniture pieces. For example, use an ottoman as a seating for your vanity table, but with a hidden storage and it will work as the same piece when you are needing a footrest. Also, there are a lot of multifunctional bed choices in the market, which at the same time will work as a storage. If your bedroom is too small, you can use a sofa bed. This way you have more versatility to play with your space depending on your needs. Remember that in a small space, everything needs to be functional. Another recommendation about incorporating furniture in your bedroom is to use transparent pieces made by acrylic or glass. Maybe this transparent piece can be the chair that you will use for your workstation desk or for your vanity table, or nightstand or shelves. This way you will trick your eyes and brain into thinking that the space is bigger than what it really is because the transparent furniture takes zero visual weight. I know that I always share this recommendation in all my videos about small spaces, but it's because it's very, very useful and easy to incorporate it in any room. Remember that designing a small space is all about visual manipulation, and with transparent objects, you can trick your mind like the best. High Cordance as I said before that the furniture that extends up to the ceiling can visually open up the space and give the illusion of a more spacious room, well, we can achieve the same visual effect with high mounted curtains. Accentuate tall windows with high curtains. Curtains make a room look more spacious when you mount the curtain road close to the ceiling instead of at the window frame. The floor length cordons draw the eye upward along the entire length of the cordons, creating an illusion of height. So at the time of incorporating your cordons as a functional element, you should use it as a visual effect to trick your mind and make your bathroom feel larger and airy. Lighting has the greatest impact on interior design. In a bedroom, I always recommend to have different layers of light and setup. What does that mean? Well, that means that you will need to have an ambient or genital lighting combined with task light source such as table lamps for your desk or wall lamps for reading at your bed. But in a small space, you need to be clever at the time of incorporating your lighting pieces. For an ambient light, use ceiling mountain lights or architectural lighting mimicking the LED strips in your ceiling, 
wall or furniture, to define volumes and to provide the necessary ambient light. As I said, make your walls and your ceiling work. For a task lighting source instead of using a table lamp in your nightstand, you can have a hanging lamp with a simple design or a wall lamp to take up zero space in your nightstand. This way you will have more useful space for you and your furniture. Wallpapers. Patterns are a small spaces pet friend because they add big personality without encroaching on precious square foot. Just because your bedroom is small doesn't mean it has to be dull. Add a ball wallpaper pattern to a focal wall, like your headboard wall. Wallpaper can also make a room feel smaller, so it's crucial that patterns are executed in just the right way. So when selecting wallpaper, choose a large scale pattern with organic and soft shapes over a small and busy one. Remember that a light and calming color palette is the best choice for any bed, especially for a small one. Don't forget to create a cohesive look by coordinating your bedding or pillows or some accessories with your new wallpaper. Guys, remember, if you have any question, let me know in a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to click like. This way I can notice that my content is helping you out. Remember to subscribe to be part of our design community and to follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration and to get in touch. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.